What's up everybody, Silent Cypher here with another tutorial. Um, today I want to show you how to implement machine um, within Studio One version 2. I got it for Christmas and I really love it. It's, in my honest opinion, it's the best DAW I've ever used. It's so easy to set up instruments with multiple outputs like machine or contact or whatever you could imagine and uh, it really changed my workflow um, normally I arranged everything within machine I put all my effects in machine I arranged uh, the scenes and stuff to the whole song which was a little bit complicated because most of the time I get acapellas so I needed to slice them and um, make sure y you cannot replay them all the time. You have to go to specific scenes, cut the acapella there, put it in and yeah, really complicated compared to Studio One. So um, I opened an empty project and I want to show you how to do it. We just drag machine over here to our track and it automatically creates an instrument track which is a MIDI track so you can add MIDI notes you can add MIDI notes here and trigger machine with it but the cool thing is you don't need to bounce any MIDI you can mix it right in here in your mixer panel and I show you how to do it so we open up machine and uh, I'll load the drum kit and uh, I go back and set my tempo I know I want to want it to be around 90 BPM so I add 90 BPM here oh as you can see um, I'm running the German version so uh, I guess uh, the English version isn't uh, it's, it, it's very similar so uh, I hope you guys can find the options later in your in your software alright so back to machine it's 90 BPM and I want to loop, loop it. Um, okay, put on my metronome and punch in, pre-count, and uh, in machine, I just hit record, and I start recording in Studio One. another try have to set my grid to triplets It's lagging a little bit because of the screen recorder, so I have to adjust the notes here. Right, let's replay. Right now we have it inside of machine, but I want to have it here in, in the studio one, and it's just a two-click setup, and you're ready to go. You go to sound MIDI batch setup, set it to sounds to MIDI notes, click apply, and then click on the little um, on the little icon here, and just drag it over. All right. Click it here to the beginning. So when I now go back into machine and choose an empty scene and replay it, we can hear the sounds. It's just triggering machine. 
All right. So I named this basic loop, and then I create another one. Go to pattern two, and I want to create one for the hook. Oh, and as you can see, it's playing here. You have to mute it. It's recording notes from Studio One. The muted channel. All right. I'm muted, and we call this one hook same game we just drag it over for later all right so now when it comes to mixing Prisonus is so cool um, you don't have to bounce anything from here you just click uh, you just route your samples to the outputs so I go to sound for my kick this is gonna be output one snare is going to be output 2, hi-hat output 3. So now back we close this and now here in the instruments panel we can just make all 16 tracks from machine visible. We choose the first three, I call this one kick, snare, and the third one was the hi-hat. Now when we play it back uh, let's go back and switch in to an empty scene. Right. Easy as that. So now we can take this a step further. We can use all our effects on the channels in here and don't need to mess around with effects in machine which is pretty cool. So I go to my effects and um, let's say I want to add a compressor to the whole drum group so I create a new bus channel name this drums and route those three channels to the drum bus. Check it out. easy as that. So now let's say we want to add contact and using multiple instruments in a contact so I'm adding contact 5 here and once you've started you have to do one thing um, you go to your output and you add three more channels and you can route them to the same output so you see here it's um, stereo 1 and stereo 2 are going to plug in out 1 and 2 stereo 2 is going to plug in out 3 and 4 5, 6, 7, 8 and then you have to go to safe current output section state as default for VST plugin so every time you open it up it's automatically set up correctly so let's say we want to add um, Alicia's keys and I want to add a bass so here we have this is the first channel so let's say we call this as piano 
And I'm going to add another instrument layer, instrument track. We call this bass. So input is contact 5, it's on channel 2. So when I now play my MIDI keyboard, it plays the bass, and on here it plays. piano. Easy as that. And same game for the mixer tracks. Now we have stereo 1. We call this piano. And we go here to contact 5. And make second output visible. We call this bass. So when I play it now, this is the piano. And this is the bass. Oh, wait. There's something messed up. Oh yeah, I have to set it here to stereo output too. So now... And that's all! Now we can go and uh, mix it, play your MIDI notes here, and uh, you don't need to bounce anything until your whole song is finished. I can show you one project I made earlier today. Um, let's go to recordings. So that's how it looks like. I have um my samples coming from machine as you can see here of vocal samples and a real sample and all my drums they come in from machine and I have a bass from FM8 strings from contact and my acapella as an audio layer yeah that's it I hope this helped and if you have some questions, send me a message. I'm always glad if I can help out. So, see you next time.